Yep, back out. I'll back out you. I'll back you out. <laughs> You'll be backed out. Yep, back out. Hey, <laughs> orders restored. Anyway, you can hear from the puffing and panting. Doing that bad, it's taking its toll. I can't get out running, I can't do any exercise. Mind you, it was quite an exercise putting the carpet in, right? Quite a workout. Loads of little spring lambs have sprung. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. In the wild country of Scotland. Rob's come home. Home again, yeah. He's him. Reprogrammed. Yeah. Rebooted. It's just to keep his accent up. <laughs> it's just fake, really. He loses his accent. He has to come back to recharge his accent. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do a wild camp today. It's the Easter weekend. The weather's lovely. We just hope it lasts. We've been walking through bogs of terror already. Gators. Gators on. That's how you can tell it's bad. Oh, but it should be good. We're just exploring really. Well, I really don't know where we're going. We have walked this path before. We ended up at Loch Neldrigan. That was moons ago. And it was dark when we got there. So we're hoping that we missed the path that we need. Is this making sense? Not really. We need a path. We need to find a path to get where we want to be. But we can't remember it because it was dark last time we came so we're hoping we'll find it this time you can't blame us we'll give a shout out to the rig of darkness yeah we've got the, we're gonna cross in the rig of darkness oh there's loads of weird place names around here it's great it's like something like the lord of the rings right we'll come back when we're a bit further in We've walked. We've only done a mile and a half. <laughs> it feels like we've done about 12 miles. That's the rig of the darkness. Up there is the Mickey of the Jackson. <laughs> and there's somebody coming. But we're going that way through that valley there. And then we'll see where we end up. We need to be over that way, like. So hopefully there's a path, we'll find it. Look at this though. Rock, just get in there, you know. This has been a tough walk, this like, we're two miles, 2.6 miles in, and it took us two hours. It's just relentless. The terrain is terrible. If it's not bog, it's boulders or long grass like this with probably a swamp underneath it. it just keeps sinking <laughs> that's really hard we've come past that lock valley that's what that's called lock valley strange name for a lock i wonder if the valley's called but uh, forget it over the back of there is neldrickon it's back of this just caught sight of it before but we've dropped down a little bit and we're going to head up there Onto that, up that high point there, to see what's about. Whew! But it's not easy. Oh, there's a frog. Froglet. Hey! Go on! I'm really stirring you. Hopping about. Alright, so. We're gonna see what it's like up there. On top of there. On the map, it looks flat. But. Could be stony or boggy, who knows? Who knows? It's exciting, it's a good adventure. See what I mean about the big horse. Just <laughs> went over my ankles, past my knees. Oh. This is Loch Neldrickon. We camped right in the distance there, there's a beach. 
we've made the executive decision as well not to go up there we're going to try and skirt around the back of here and find another beach we've got to get over here first so this is going to be tricky is there another way let's see oh. let's just see we probably should have crossed this way back further down there and when there's no path you just make your own path and you come against obstacles and you just work out a way to get around those obstacles or you fall in if you fall in there that's deep that you don't want to be falling in that this is like when we go out to Cheb's hut the river crossing of terror we're gonna go for it here like if that rock's not slippy depend, depends how slippy the rocks are doesn't it oh he's gone for it well if he can do it then I can do it easy, easy. Yeah, easy, be easy. yeah we'll see about that I was having trouble standing up on the flat ground before It is deep isn't it? Ah yeah. oh, boring, boring Nobody fell in Should have pushed him in shouldn't I? Just for the crack <laughs> So here we are On the shores of Loch Neldrigan crystal clear I don't really quite like to feel how cold that is even through my boots oh, we're going to pitch on here uh, we have beached camp before well, that was right over the other side this is a bit bigger there was a bit more space here that last camp I had over there was tight for space there's loads of room here we were going to go up there but look at it we couldn't find a path, right? We're both absolutely exhausted and it's just like craggy and rocky as anything we don't think we'll be able to get pitched on the top see the, the strata that top is going to be just rock look at your pegs in there like, I don't think it's a very good idea to pitch up there I mean why would you pitch up there when you've got this? so we'll have a much around here perfect for the sunset these, these mountains here, that's Ben Yellery, camped on that. That's the Merrick, camped on that. Um, that's it, I'm out. <laughs> that's the only ones I know. There's one over the back of there called Craig Knoll. That was our original destination, but it's absolutely miles away still. It's still miles away. Time's getting on and we're knackered. Don't earn admitting that has absolutely worn us out walking through that bog. We'll find a, a nice spot and we'll come back. You can't have gone wrong here, like. Well, we've got set up after that. It was three and a half miles, but it took two, two and a half hours. Uh, nah, hard. actual walking time was one hour 56. It's a hard three and a half miles. But I can, I can run three miles, three and a half miles in like 34 minutes. <laughs> it shows you how hard it was. That shows you how bad a runner I am as well. 34 minutes, not would be boasting about, is it? That's the pitch. We're buzzing here, like. Pure buzzing. And we've got the sun going down over the over there, just behind the Merrick that will go. That's the Merrick over there. Look at that one. Look at that. You get the odd little breeze coming through, a little gust, but nothing to worry about. Ah, this is lovely. It's so much better than the last time. Last time we were over there, there was like half the size beach. There was four of us crammed onto this little spit of land. This is so much better. I think it's preferable to being up there, to be fair, like, it really is. But yeah, I like it. 
I like it a lot. And because it's six o'clock, it's time to get totally wired. And here's a gin. It's um, it's normal setup because it is supposed to be going to get cold, even though it's a lovely sunny day. I've got a nice new water bottle of Aorin. Look at that, that's a litre one. The other one was for walking, just handy to grab. I think that's uh, 500 mil. Oh, yeah, it's got a scale on the back. 500 mil. Nice, feel lovely. Not too much promoting them, they only wanted us to send them a few photographs, so. But these are a lot cheaper than the Super Sparrow ones. Um, I've got a nice steak for tea. Nice sirloin with peppercorn sauce. And I forgot the mushrooms and tomatoes. So back home on the bench, there's a bag of mushrooms and a bag of tomatoes. So that's just a steak. My mistake. <laughs> mistake. Steak. So... How do you, what do you think of this spot then? Oh, it's amazing, look at it. Look at it. It's just like being abroad, well, not quite, but <laughs> it's it's but the nearest thing, really. I mean, without the, heat. the water's clear and everything. The water's really clear. It's yeah. also really cold. You would have thought you could be on the beach in the middle of Galloway Forest. No, no. There's no many trees, right? It's crazy. <laughs> the last time we came here, the water we're standing watching it freeze over <laughs> which was weird but yeah that's the spot right there <laughs> so still sun's going down so is the temperature mind this is Rob's got his down jacket on now. We're about to start cooking the tea or dinner if you're posh. Yeah, that's, that's the problem here. The mountains are blocking the, the sunset, so we're not going to see a nice sunset. Make it a bit red sky. But you know, it's a small price to pay for such a nice location. So here we go. Nice sirloin steak in the most loveliest place. What a location. Rubs over there, we'll trot over there in a minute and we'll have a look what he's get, getting on. He's like me, he comes with a really full four course meal. I would like to cook us lads. I'm still sitting here with my sunglasses on, big big coat on now, like got the big coat on because it's chilly. As soon as that sun went down you could feel it. There's lots of little ripples on the water. Little fash. Are you winning? Ah, right, getting there now. I'll come over later on and have a look. Right. And get jealous, because I've got nout with this steak. Just steak. Here we see Rob in Rob's camping kitchen. What do we have? Um steak doing strips of sirloin steak um, uh, with red Thai curry. Oh, it smells lovely. Yeah, it smells nice like it. really does. And just, um, sirloin steak. And why do you use sirloin steak, please? Because it's the best. Well, nah, because you can't tenderise it. Uh, I have no idea. It's because of the packet told me to use sirloin steak. <laughs> it's because if you use the beef steak, stewing steak, right, you've got to let it cook for like an hour. All oh, right, so you can do this quickly. It'll be more tender, that way. All right, it's uh, nice. Yeah, now 
stick the coconut milk in and then don't let, forget, let it simmer for a bit. Don't forget the coconut milk. Uh, you know what you should don't do? Don't spill it. Uh, you should <laughs> put the lime in the coconut and then drink it all up. Good put now. the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Like put the lime in the coconut and drink Malibu. it all up. Bah. You not heard that song before? No. Nah. What? I didn't think so. It's on Reservoir Dogs. Oh, of course I have. Anyway, this is where we're cooking, what a place. I'm just letting this uh, cook through now. Sealed it. Ah. I know. It's like picture perfect, isn't it? Give that another couple of minutes and then I'll pour the sauce on. Oh. What are you going to do? Crush your can? <laughs> Be on target. Damn, fall backwards. Oh. Oh, it's not too oh. bad. It's not too bad. That's better than my last effort. Nice. A bit on the outer edges here, but a bit, a bit yeah. elongated. Still. A bit, a bit of lips. Ellipsical. Ellipsical. <laughs> now we don't do that. <laughs> Skim it over the lock. <laughs> the hell on. <laughs> right. So that's it. That's my pathetic tea. It's done to a nice medium rare quality. So I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to stand and beg at Rob's table. I'm going to stand and watch him eat. Make him feel bad about not giving me any. <laughs> eat. Right, I've come across to covered vine bait. No, dude. Nice. It smells nice. Rice yeah. smells nice. Twice as nice. Was plain it's not for two, like. <laughs> I'm gonna stick some soy sauce in it, I know. I've just had one of them great big steaks. Which was lovely, by the way. My steak was just spot on. Where did you get it from? Um, from Morrison's. Mozza's. Decent steaks. Yeah, they're Morrison's all right. Better than ours, though. Yeah, a little bit hit and miss, like, to be fair. Ours with most steaks. Ours is terrible. No, oh, that's just blooming awful. The final touch uh, a bit of soy sauce. He brings a bottle of soy sauce then. Well, it was only for this meal, really. Nice. Gotta keep it authentic. I'll just leave you to it while I go and take some photographs. this water how much of a contrast is this to me like normal camps <laughs> it's black and white isn't it? it's day and night it's red and blue Chilly, bit of a breeze. Um, we're just having a cup of tea. Nice cup of tea. Can't beat it like first thing in the morning. Aye. Nice. So, yeah. Did a night lapse last night. I'll have a look on the big screen, see what it looks like. It was a bit light because the moon came up, didn't it? The moon came up over the hill over there, so 
Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll have a look at it. Morning. Just so you know, it's me. <laughs> right, we've got that walk back today. Back that way, through all that bog and density. It's going to be good. Three miles, three and a half miles. Challenging, let's say. If you're coming up here, it's challenging. Wear gaiters. Because it's boggy. And just be prepared to trek really. Slog. Worth it though, eh? Right, I love this. So just to uh just to finish off here, with Rob was there. I was here. And we've got skills beyond means here, like see, we picked the tent up. Put it on the grass, no sand. Result, mine was the same. Not a grain of sand is in these tents now. And I find that quite amazing. At how skillful, you know, how skillful we are, like expert are. levels. Expert level unlocked. So that's your top tip. If you're on the beach camp and you've got some grass, get on the grass with it. The joy of the freestanding tents, you see. You could do it with the non freestanding, just spring it over to the grass and shake it off. But we're gonna have to do this walk now. <laughs> we're gonna have to do this walk of death now through the bog of doom back to the cars. And we'll have her, uh, I think we're gonna have cook up some food because we didn't do it here. We couldn't be bothered to be fair, like. Let's take one last look around. Look what's that up there on the top of the hill. Is that a deer? Right on top. What a, what a perch. Right, so that's it. We'll come back if anything occurs on the way back. Story that cuts like a knife. And so we are keeping all of it inside. I know how to do it, but I can't find the time. So hold me down, keep it all of it inside. Hold me down, keep it all of I've lost count of the days in my pocket and the money spent looking in Head down in the way of the Sufi and the New York Trilogy Spend looking in Head down in the 